Dear students, from today we are going to start new series of modules on Microsoft Access, which is a database management system. So, in today's module, we will have our first module on this series, and today we will discuss that why we need databases and what are the ribbons, uh, resemblances, and similarities uh, with other Microsoft Office and PowerPoint and Excel, which we have learned already and how to create a database and how we can import already uh, stored data for example in Microsoft Excel which we have learned in the last modules. So first of all what is the definition of database? A database is a shared collection of logically related data that is stored to meet the requirements of different users of an organization. So let's have it a pictorial representation of files versus databases. So uh, we have learned uh, Microsoft Excel, which is one kind of file, and the database which we are going to start in the form of Microsoft Access. So you can see on the left hand side, if we are going to store the information of a particular student, so we are uh, storing its information in the admission department, in the examination department, and in the accounts department. And all of those departments have different files. For example, there would be one Microsoft Excel file for admissions, one for examination, and one for accounts. And so all of these uh, files would be uh, separately stored. And there would be some of the data which is going to be duplicated in each of the file. For example, each of the file need to store student name and student father name, date of birth, etc. However, in databases, what we are saying that we are saying that it is an integrated repository in which all of the information related to admission, examination and accounts is going to be stored at one particular location and all such information will be integrated in such a way that there is no duplication and data is consistent. So if we uh, try to uh, summarize the limitations of the files, uh, for example, if we want to store uh, information of student in admission department, we would be interested to store registration number, name, father name, admission date, and case so, uh, course of study. And when we are going to uh, store the information of that student in examination department, we are interested to store its registration number, name, father name. So all of these three attributes are similar. And then exam date and paper. And in accounts, again, the first three uh, fields are same, registration number, name and father, and fee status and pending installments. So in such a scenario, we have duplication of data. So one student is going to be stored at all of these three files. And data would be dependent. So for example, if we uh, try to remove anything from our update or add anything in admissions, so then the same changes need to be made in examination and accounts for the same student. So for example, if student's name has uh, changed a little bit, so that student name will be changed over here in the admission and similarly in the examination and similarly in the account. So if you, are, uh, if you remain unable to change the same thing or same changes in all of the uh, files, then the data uh, would be inconsistent. So such kind of thing is known as update anomaly or it, the data would be inconsistent. So then there are limited number of built-in uh, queries available in Microsoft Excel, for example, or any kind of files which we have. So in uh, 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 databases like Microsoft Access, we would have such kind of powerful query management system, which is known as SQL structured query language and using that query language, we can uh, communicate with the data in the way we communicate with the humans to, to kind of similar way and we would be able to retrieve very relevant information. And uh, to uh, use this, let's start the practical. So here I have uh, Microsoft Access, which is a database management system. And you can see that I have created table and that table need to be saved somewhere for example first of all I will say that this is a table which we have created at the moment and let's say that this table is student 
so you can see that this table has been named as student and uh, you can see that uh, in the ribbons like in the home ribbon we have similar kind of things which we have already learned in previous modules of Microsoft Word, PowerPoint and Excel uh, like view option, paste options, filters which we have learned, sorting in the last module and the formula. So many things are similar which we are not going to discuss. However, uh, we would be more interested to create tables, table designs, query wizards and then forms and reports. So these, this is our area of interest when we are working in Microsoft Access which will be the uh, topics covered in the next modules. So in, in today's module, what we want to do, we want to uh, import some of the data which we have already stored in Microsoft Excel. So you need to go on to external data, click on to Excel, and then it's asking that from where you want to copy. So for example, if I say, okay, I have some information over here. So let's see, would it be able, so this is the Excel practice. You have seen that uh, in the last four or five modules, we have worked on it. So let's say I give this as a file. Okay, open. And then it is asking me that whether you want to uh, migrate or import uh, the information or sheet which we prepared for the module number 220, 221, 222, 223, or 224. So let's do it for 220. Next. And first row contains the column headings. Okay. Next. Next. And let access add primary key. Okay. So we have not changed anything until now. And this is the table. We can say this is table underscore 220. This is the name of the table and let's we are going to finish it. So here is the table 2 to 0 and you would be surprised at all of the information which we have stored in Microsoft Excel previously for the module 2 to 0 has been imported in this table and the table name is what we have written over here and you can even rename it if you want by right clicking on it. So all of the information in that particular uh, Microsoft Excel file has been imported in this. There is only one thing which uh, this uh, Microsoft Access has added, which he asked us that I want to add a primary key. So primary key is basically a key that uh, uniquely identifies a row. So this is one row and this row has been given an ID of one, next row two, three, four, and so on. So this means that uh, if we want to access this record and maybe there is a student with the same name Akbar again at number five. So then we cannot say that uh, which Akbar we are going to uh, access. So we will say that whose ID is four or whose ID is five. So this is uh, one thing which we have learned. So we have learned uh, that how we can import uh, previously stored data from Excel in this module. So let's conclude uh, this module. Uh, we have learned uh, that what is a database and we have defined database. We have differentiated between files and database management system and database itself. Then we have seen the similarities of ribbons available in Microsoft Access and in other uh, Microsoft Office tools. And then we have seen that how database can be created and how data can be imported from different files, especially we have imported data from Microsoft Excel.